Okay, so welcome back. This is going to be about um, what I believe to be the best configuration for the IE200 IEM by Sennheiser. So that's the IE200 right there. It's very small. Um, I have a, uh, I guess, review slash first impressions um, video. So if you want to see that, go watch it. Also, go watch some of my other videos. I talk about <clears throat> some other IEMs and also uh, I, I build some stuff occasionally and I upload that stuff. So go check out my other videos. Now, back to this. Uh, I've discovered through other YouTubers that there's a hole. Well, I knew this was here because of this like dual tuning thing, but there's this hole that needs to be covered up. So to cover that up, you can use tape. Um, you could use a filter, which is what I used. I ordered these little filters from AliExpress a while back for my chew, my moon drop chew. So I took the filter and I put it on there. And then I took the small size uh, spin fit tips and just drop it on there. So it's kind of like double sealed or just, what's the word, like extra sealed. Or I'm really making sure that it's sealed so there's no base leak. And I've discovered that there's a lot more sub base and also with these tips, they fit perfectly into my ear and they go around this like weird thing I have going on in my ear, which I discovered is like different on both sides. Um, and because of these tips, it goes around it into the ear hole and I don't get any weird like, um, like suction effect or loss of sound because like the ear tip is curved the wrong way. Um, so definitely plug up that hole, either with some tape or a filter, and then put some spin fit tips on. I would suggest the small or the medium. And you wanna make sure that when they go in, they don't like create that weird effect where it curves the wrong way or gets pinched and then you lose sound on one side. So the mediums, they do fit me, the medium size fits. But if I like touch it the wrong way, touch the IEM the wrong way, I can get that weird effect where I just lose the sound. So the smalls are actually a little bit too small, but because they go in, so deep into my ear, um, I get a perfect seal. And also because of that, I can lay down with them or put like a blanket like that over my head and it doesn't affect the audio quality in any way. This is the first IEM that has ever um, kind of had that in my experience. It just fits so well, and the seal is very good. There's no pain. <clears throat> and also, the, the audio quality is very uh, consistent because it doesn't move around and because it goes so deep. So next thing, let's move on. They sound great uh, when you just plug them into your like laptop or a Focusrite, but a laptop and a focus right and you know your phone and like the apple dongle that's all neutral <clears throat> for the most part so what i got here is the hi by fc3 and this pairs insanely well with the ie 200 so you plug it in like that 
me do that. And then I have my Android phone over here, which is now my audio player. It's a Pixel uh, 4a. Plug it in, and then let's see, you get the light. And what this does is it reveals like this extra bit to the music that you otherwise just wouldn't hear. And it it makes the songs um, like detailed to another level that you may have never heard before, even with more expensive IEMs. I know for sure I hear stuff all the time in songs that I've never heard in my life. And I have, you know, the Adam Audio system, Megan Olsen stuff, uh, other IEMs. And I plugged all these other, you know, things into here. And they sound better with this, but that extra layer of music that's being revealed only gets revealed when you're, or when I'm using these, and hopefully that's the same for you. Um, when you're using the IE200 with this DAC right here, the hi uh FC3, it really does just something else to the music. Um, it keeps the sound stage. It, you know, has the same great bass. Uh, the micro details are increased to a range that is like scary. Um, you certain sounds you might think are coming from like above your head that you've never heard in the song. So you pause your music and you're like, "Are the neighbors making noise? What's going on here?" And then you realize that it's actually part of the song. Um, it doesn't add any cool effects, you know, like zipping around or anything like that. It just reveals another layer to every song. Um, which I think would put these on the same level as like the 600s. Once you add this. And this is about fifty dollars. So then you're you're turning this into a um, two hundred dollar set by adding this thing. Oh, also the tips. So like two hundred uh, thirteen, two hundred fifteen dollars to have an incredible um, set right here. And then also you you get this, so you can plug in all your other. Uh, IEMs and you can experience that as well. It's a very good deck. So okay, so I'll just let you know what my volume settings are on Android. Um, when I plug this in, I max this out. I just click up a bunch of times and then I go down one, two, three. And I go down three times and then I set my volume to about there right right there and that just gives me an incredible experience that i really never had before with um, music and then if you want to go back to a neutral sound you just plug the the jack into there just like that or into your focus right or laptop, whatever you want. There were times where I was laying down, listening to this combination, and I just had to stop the music and look around because there were sounds like coming from really far away that were just so small, almost like a door creaking or something. Um, or the position of the voice sounded, it was like it was coming from under the bed a little bit. And I'm like, hmm, okay. There's no one singing down there. It's a little weird, but it's very, uh, it's a very interesting experience when you combine all these things right here. 
Oh, also to get rid of the... What is it? That, um... Was it uh, microphonics or something? That microphonic effect or stethoscope effect that some guy calls it on YouTube. I forgot his channel name. Uh, Tech Savvy. I think that's it. He calls it the stethoscope, stethoscope effect. Uh, with these, to get rid of it, you just have to kind of cinch this thing up a little bit higher than you're um, used to. And then just try to keep the cable tight. So my pocket configuration with this um, kind of looks like this. Got this in my pocket. And then I'll go like one. There, I, I have this strap on the back. So what I really do is like this. Like one, two. Cool. And then you just kind of put that in there. And then this can go in your back pocket. And it keeps the, the cable kind of tight from going from top to bottom. So it doesn't move around as much. And then that this thing again helps a lot. So that's my discovery with um, the IE200. This is what I suggest you purchase if you have these. And this will give you an entirely new experience uh, with these IEMs. So, that's it.